Old Billy fucking Twinkle Toes is going to go work out now. All right, girlfriend dresses like a whore. All right, dear Bill. Um, yeah, you can't, you're not allowed really, like people are like, you're, stop clothes shaming her. And it's like, well, you do. I mean, I would love to inter- interview like a prostitute and just be like, you know, with all the mainstream women dressing like prostitutes now, is it hard to like, you know, figure out what you're going to wear every night? All right, dear Bill, first time writer, long time listener. I've been listening to a girl for three years and she's getting antsy about us taking the next step. She's awesome, a great conversationalist and gorgeous. So what's the issue, you might ask? Well, Bill, she dresses like a whore. I'll go fuck yourself, dude. You've been with her for three years. You've been with her for three fucking years. Did she just start dressing like a whore? Because if this has always been an issue, you've been wasting her time. But if you're young, I understand, because you don't know how to break up with people, and you start thinking, well, will I ever get one as pretty as this again? Uh, I, maybe I can make myself love her. Anyways, well, Bill, she dresses like a whore. Now, I know this might sound judgmental, but I don't, I don't mean it to. Dude, having a gorgeous woman, woman that dresses like a whore is a situation for a guy when you go out in public. All right? Because she's going to attract male attention and somebody, one of those asshole guys is going to cross a fucking line. And then all of a sudden you got to step up like you got fucking Steven Seagal, you know, skills. Right? Is that too old? Uh, Joe Rogan skills. All right, there you go. I updated it. Okay? Not comparing Joe's fucking art to his. I don't, I'm not in that world. All right? Both of them can kick my ass. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, so what's the issue you might ask? Uh, okay. All right. She dresses like horror. However, I want you to imagine the worst case scenario on this one. When I first met her, I thought this was a one-time thing, but every day she wears skirts that end at the top of her ass, see-through tops that show her nipples or short shorts with no panties that reveal her vagina. She even went to a costume party in only body paint and a thong. Buddy, she's been doing this the whole time. She's been doing this the whole time. So evidently you've been having fun, but now you're like, I don't want the mother of my kids walking down the street with their clam hanging up. Is that what the issue is? Anyway, I don't believe men should tell women what to wear. Why? Women tell guys what to wear all the fucking time. You're going to wear that? You need to update your wardrobe. I mean, what is this? My favorite shirt. Get rid of it. Um, but she dresses like this in front of my friends and male relatives, and I feel as if I've gotten to the point where it's emasculating for me. I 100% understand that. My friends stare at her like they want to fuck her despite me standing right there. The way she dresses attracts the worst attention, absolutely, and I've almost been in countless fights because of it. Yes, guys have tried grabbing her even while I'm standing there, and I'm a big guy. She claims that men are the problem and that it's just nudity. Furthermore, she claims that she can dress how she wants because a man doesn't own her. Um, Yeah, all of that is true. She can dress how she wants. A man doesn't own her. This is all about how you feel about it. And if this is a deal breaker for you, I would get the fuck out of this. Um, This isn't new either. She told me that her mother has been screaming at her, her her entire life to put on clothes, trying to understand her. I guess that she might be a nudist that prefers spaces where you don't have to wear clothes. Well, yeah, if she's in there, I would think that that's a safer space Um, because everybody's naked. You're all on the same playing field. Are there less perverts at a nudist place because the guy's balls are right there? He doesn't even have underwear and pants to block the kick. I mean, your nuts are just hanging out. I would think that you'd be on your best behavior. (laughs) Uh, I offered to take her there, but she replied that she only liked to be naked in places where she's not supposed to be. All right, so she gets off on it. All right, this is like her thing. So you either have to be okay with this or you got to watch. Judging by your answer, I've told her that if she were a man that loved to show his genitals, she would be labeled a pervert. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know. But also, you know, you got to look at how we're set up uh, anatomically. Is that the word? right word? How our shit is. Our shit's hanging. We put our thing in somebody. So that's why, you know, they're a receiver. We are the, I'm the decider. The doer. (laughs) 
I'm so involved with my head here. I think it comes down to this. She, he says, she has mentioned several times that she needs to be the center of attention, which sounds like a bit of narcissism, right? Yeah, dude, you can't marry this. This is a fucking nightmare. Anyway, is it too much to add? This is the type of person that's going to have kids and is going to be competing with the attention of if you have a girl, she's going to be, first of all, she'll be dressing her girl like a fucking, your girl like a whore. All right. And then when the, your daughter gets into her teen years, she's then going to start competing with her and there's going to be a fucking nightmare. Anyway, I'm just, this is, okay. I don't have any fucking degree in anything here other than talking shit, but this is what I'm guessing. Anyway, is it too much to ask that I want to be the only one who sees her naked vagina? No, it isn't. Should I stay with her and deal with the constant negative attention from friends and onlookers or cut bait and potentially lose an awesome person otherwise? Dude, I never heard you say in any of this that you love her. I think she's fucking smoking hot and the exact fucking reason you walked up to her is the exact thing that's driving you away, which, you know, whatever you're going to say about that. It's just like... Dude, that's not, it sounds to me like you don't want your mother, the, mo- the mother of your kids doing that. Uh, yeah. You know, she has the right to do that, absolutely. And she, you know what she needs to do? She needs to go out and find a man that's strong enough to, to have to fight half the fucking bar every time you go up to go pick up a fucking pizza. Um, yeah, dude, I got to tell you something, man. My wife is as cool as it fucking comes, all right? And marriage is still a lot of work, especially when you have kids. If you're already having these fucking issues, if you're already having these issues and you're not even fucking married yet, dude, it's not going to get any easier, okay? And I also think somebody like this is not going to age well in that they're not going to accept aging, All right, and then what you're going to have is somebody with a Botox clam hanging out of the bottom of their fucking mom jeans that they decided to cut off when you're going over there for a fucking play date. Dude, you don't need this shit, okay? Um, So I would break up with her and just say, yeah, listen. Um, Yeah, the way you dress, uh, I can't handle it anymore. And... uh, But I don't want to tell you how to dress. I think you should be free to dress the way you want to dress. But um, I think you need to go out and find a man that is comfortable with that. And then if she tries to be like, well, I don't want to lose you. I'll only dress like half a whore. No, don't do that. Because now she's being what she isn't. Okay? And now you're doing to her what most women do to men, which is they try to change you into what the fuck they want rather than finding what they want, which is what you need to do. Okay? This Look, you're doing something right. If she's gorgeous and you landed it, you can land another gorgeous woman that doesn't walk around with the fucking tits and ass hanging out, all right? And you're not into it. So you answered your own question. So I would fucking walk. I would walk. And then, you know, I don't want to predict this, but you might lose another one of your friends <laughs> once she becomes single. And I, you know something, dude? She can fucking have her, all right? He can have her. I've been there too. I've been there too. And you know what you do when you handle that? You just be really cool. You be really fucking cool with your buddy. And it'll drive her nuts. <laughs> All right, that's it. Go fuck yourselves. I will talk to you. Uh, I'll check in on you on Thursday. Uh, 